Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in this, um, wherever you are right now, I was going to say in this world, and that's wherever you're at, um, any part of the world, praise God. It is 1.36 a.m., and I usually don't get on this late. But the Lord, um, he really had a lot this on my heart. You know, there's so many people dying, and we know we all got to die, right? Praise God. But I really want you to understand the question that I'm proposing tonight because God proposed it to me. He said, Deanna, that's why it's so important for us to live um, an example, by example, especially leaders, especially people that say they are children of God. We're not perfect, but we are to lead by examples to show you all how serious it is and how real it is. And so I want to really ask you a deep question tonight. And I want you to ponder. You don't have to answer it on here. This is for you and God. This is not for the whole world. Um, Your answer is between you and God. But I really want you to ponder on this. I really want you to be real with this. Be real with yourself. You know, it's very few times that I really, um, you know, ask you to really dig deep. But this one, I really want everyone that hears this, that sees this. If God called you home today or tomorrow... Or even even before t- the mo- tomorrow morning. Do you know if you would go to heaven for real? Now don't play games. This is not about um, showing off in front of anybody. This is between you and God. And if no, then this is what you need to do. You need to repent. And you need to get to know God. God, I, I don't know how to do this. God, please help me. You know, it was a process for me. I, I just, and I'm still not perfect. But it was a process, you know, from 12 years old when I was getting molested till 16. I mean, the way my life was going, (laughs) I I didn't think I was going to be a Christian. I'm going to tell you that one. And it was just things happening back to back to back that made me doubt everything. So I understand that life can really hit you to the core of your spirit to where, to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you what the world is doing. And to be honest with you, the church doing it too. Everybody's making it, making it, um, as if you just got to be rich or you got to have a houses, not just a house, houses, cars, you have to be branded. It's not about money. You guys, yes, we need it to live, pay bills, to eat, have food, shelter. I get that, but don't let it be the, your sole purpose in life. And then you find yourself, you know, in hell or even away from God. And that's what I see happening. A lot of people, it's a falling away right now in this hour. Y'all know it's the truth. People doing all kind of stuff for a dollar, for attention. I'm going to tell you the main thing is to go viral. This social media, it could it could be a blessing, but I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen it mostly be a cursing, which I rebuke, but it's just the truth. I mean, it, this social media got people doing things that I know they wouldn't do if we wouldn't have social media lying, preaching lies, so much competition on here. I don't know if y'all notice. I only get on here when God tells me, you know, um, at one point it was like, uh, and I, and I'm, I'm transparent on purpose. It's, I found myself, I, I was, I got to get on there every day. I got to do this. I don't, I don't, mm-mm. when God put my coattail, I was like, God, you're right. He said, you don't have to compete with anybody. You don't have to. And that, that's y'all don't hear me what's happening. In the body of Christ, everybody wants to be the top prophet. If and then they're doing things that God didn't mandate. You see, I, you see how I do the prophetic class. I don't just do that. Do y'all know how much warfare I have doing those classes. Hmm. <laughs> y'all don't hear me for real. You better be doing what God has mandated you to do, or you won't have the grace and mercy to do it. Some of you, y'all see people doing things, and then y'all try to do it. I'm just going to be real. Y'all see people uh, being an apostle, and then all of a sudden, you need to change your thing. Let me tell you something. If God didn't call you in any area, don't just act like, well, I could do it too, or, you know, don't, don't play games like that. You have no idea what you're really calling into your life. You have to be anointed and appointed to do whatever God have called you to do. And hold on, it's just as important. I think people, um, you know, everybody want to be a prophet because I guess, you know, the Bible says that, you know, you should want to be prophesying. But here's the deal. We all play an important part. It could be the gift of serving, the gift of loving, being meek, you know, it, being an usher. Everybody wants to be this top thing. I'm telling you right now, 
we, we've done too much. The church has gone too far, God says. We're doing everything. We need to go back to basics. What is the basics? Respecting each other. Respecting each other. Calling. Loving each other. Stop being so angry. Stop being so unforgiving. Stop plotting. Stop planning. Stop being mean. Christians are some of the most meanest people I've ever met in my life. I'm serious. You're not in church, y'all. Hallelujah. And I mean, y'all be just, you know. But And then in front of the people that you like. This is what I want to challenge you too. When it's people that you like, oh, you're all nice. But can I tell you something? When the last time were you nice to somebody that really didn't like you? That's when you know the God is with you. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. I know it's early in the morning, but it's real. When you can be nice to us to an enemy, when you can love on an enemy, and I mean really do it, not fakeness. That's when you know God is working with you because you know in your heart that they have done you wrong. But God will tell you, bless your enemies. Don't curse them. We got to go back to basics. We really do. I'm going to be honest with you. We really, really do. That's why you don't see the power of God, the presence of God, the love of God. Because God has, God is in a, he, he has agape love. We're supposed to have agape love. What is agape love? Even if you do me something, I'm supposed to love you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But there's so much unforgiveness. There's so much bitterness. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to be clear to hear God. You know, I'm not going to say I don't get upset, but I, I let that stuff go quick. When, even when people do me something, I let that stuff go quick. I am not going to give you that much power. You don't have that much power. As a matter of fact, I got to make y'all, uh, I got to tell you a story today. I always have a story, huh? I'm starting to really take my music serious again because God told me to. So I was in the studio today and for some reason I started ministering and I was so happy because the guy that God told me to work with, he's getting closer to God. And I was like, praise God. But before I left, God had me tell him, and I'm telling y'all, don't ever let a person take your peace. Because if they take your peace, they break your spirit. And if they break your spirit, I'm telling you, you'll start saying and doing things. Because you have, anybody that has a broken spirit, hurt people, start hurting people. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You have to count the cost. Don't let everybody take your spirit, break your spirit, take your peace. Now, let me tell you how real that was. I was in the store and this elderly lady came up to me. She was the sweetest little thing. And I went on the aisle and all of a sudden she said, peace be with you. And I knew that was God confirming what I told those two young men that still, Deanna, you were right in peace. May peace be with you. And, and you know what? I speak it in every last one of your lives that on here and those that will listen. May peace of, may the peace of God be with you. Because I'm going to be honest with you. You can't buy peace. Oh, come on, somebody. You could buy everything. You can have a million dollars, but you can't buy peace. That's why people commit suicide, which I rebuke. That's why things happen. Because you're trying to buy something that you can't. It is given freely. But first of all, you must know how to serve God and worship of God. He says, the peace I give you, not as the world do. You have to get, get from away this world. And what I mean by that is you got to get in a secret place with God. Oh, come on somebody. Y'all want to know the secret to my anointing? I get with God every day. God, is there anything in me that I need to work on? God, I repent if I thought something, said something, and it could be something small. You got to really examine your, yourself every day. God, keep me. God, keep me. God, teach me. God, reach me. God, rebuke me if you have to. God, correct me if you have to. God, inspect me. Whatever it takes for you to see God. Whatever it takes for you to get to heaven. Whatever it takes for you to be a good person. Whatever it takes for you to be Christ-like. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better stop letting this world turn y'all inside out and upside down. That's what's happening. The world has came into the church and it's, it's man, it's a mess. Y'all see it. And I'm praying for everybody because God will give you over to a reprobate mind to where you don't even know what you're doing. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. He'll give you over to a reprobate mind. Hallelujah. He'll talk for only so long until he let you have that thing. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know how people like to play with sin. And well, well, I'm going to go back. You know, it's, it reminds me of Samson. When Samson kept playing with Delilah, that, that story really hurts my spirit because... Samson was great. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm talking to somebody up in here. Samson was great. Don't you know the enemy is coming when you have an anointing? Y'all wonder why? Because you, you are a danger. You are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. That's why he'll send people. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And you can't let anybody stop you. Family, friend. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Delilah. 
Always look for the name. The lie. She was a lie from the gate. And notice she kept, she kept openly trying to actually seduce him and subdue him. And he, he knew it. But wait a minute, God had gave him over to a reprobate mind. The Bible says that he didn't even know that God had left him. My brothers and sisters, you don't ever want to be in that state. You don't ever want to be in that state where God has left you and you don't even know it. And you'll feel it. Oh, you'll feel it. But the thing is, though, when you get in a reprobate, you don't feel his presence. So you get used to not feeling his presence. Oh, I just said something. I just said, that's why people can fall from God. Because you'll get used to not having his presence. I don't ever want to get used to not having his presence. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. So I'm asking you again. If God called you home, do you know if you will go to heaven? And if not, repent. Again, don't write it up on here. That's between you and God. That's something that he, he actually... He he just gave me, not even 10 minutes ago. And I said, okay, God. And I got to be up at 6 o'clock, but I, I'm going to be obedient because it's not about us. We got to go back to just being laborers. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all remember when we used to labor all night, pray all night, have shut-ins. Hallelujah. We got to go back to that. This ain't no entertainment. This is souls and people are dying. Hallelujah. But God said, I have a people, I have a chosen people that's going to walk the walk and talk the talk. And they'll die for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. It's not about us. We're not that great. We're really not. But he is. He knows how to save you. He knows how to heal you. He knows how to deliver you. He knows how to mend your broken heart. He knows how to stop that foolishness in your life. Some of you, you're going around in circles because guess what? You keep touching the unclean thing. What's the unclean thing? You want to do what you want to do. And then when you get what you get, you want to cry. Oh, come on, somebody. I was one of them. You know how nobody can't tell you nothing. And then afterwards, y'all blame God. Why God? Why God? No, 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 no. Back that up. Did you even ask God? Did you even consult God? In order for Lord God to be Lord over your life, you got to let him be Lord. Meaning that you don't go nowhere he don't tell you to go. You don't do what he don't tell you to do. And even when you miss it, say, I repent and then return from that thing. Hallelujah to his name. This stuff is real. Woo. So count the cost, people. This is real. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.